Hey, so today I'm going to show you guys how to have custom artwork on the Cockatrice clients. I, I've seen this question asked in chat a couple times in the, main, in the main tab, and today I'm going to answer it for you. So first things off, we have to make a new folder. You uh, put it to the desktop, you can name it whatever you want. And, but I, I already made one, and I've named it the Cockatrice Misspelled uh, Custom Proxy Art. But next thing you have to do is make a custom folder inside. This is where you will be saving all of your, all of your alters and or proxies. This downloaded pics doesn't have to be here, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. This is just an extra backup that I made in case of the main cockatrice uh, getting corrupted. So once we've made it, we got to ha we first have to find something we want to download. So, uh, make an altar of. Uh, like f f it, it's it's obviously going to be up to you, like what you want to have as an altar. So I gotta find, cause I have so many, I have to find something I don't already have an altar for. Uh, let's take, let's just take this Black Lotus for example. I'm pretty damn sure I don't have one. So we're gonna save as, and we're gonna go to the desktop and scroll down to the to the folder that we just made and we're gonna put it in our custom folder here and then we have to name it the full spelling uh, punctuation and everything so black uh, low tus full punctuation correct spelling or it won't work and then dot full dot jpeg and we're also saving it as a jpeg so we're gonna save it and the next thing we have to do is go to our settings. Go down here to uh, pictures directory. So we go over here and we go, it's going to be, it's going to originally be somewhere else, but hmm, where it's originally going to be is app data local cockatrice cockatrice picks it's going to originally be set to this but I what you want to do is pull both of these like we just made our own what you want to do is pull let me ah, crap it's gonna be set to here originally so we're gonna instead go to desktop and pick the one that we just picked and it'll just be the one we picked. So we're gonna hit OK. Uh, the next thing we definitely need to do is go back into it. I believe it's this one. No, it wasn't. We need to get the downloaded picks. This is the rest of the cards that aren't downloaded. Like, that aren't alters. Man, my dog is barking again. So I want to go desktop, not desktop, we want to go to this desktop, your name profile, app data, local, cockatrice, cockatrice again, and the pics, and we want to uh, pull this out, we want to pull it out, Ooh, just this, we just want to pull it out, it's getting there, it's loading, there's a lot of items in it. So it'll take a few seconds. Yeah, there's a lot. It'll take a few seconds. Come on, keep going. Load. Wow, load. Every time it reaches the max. Come on, get there. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's cancel. So you move it in there, and then you move it into your new folder and put it here. So this is a backup of every set so far. 
Let's see if Battle for Zendikar. Yeah, this is a backup. Now, once you have this set up, you can search for the thing that we just looked for, which was Black Lotus. And here it is. And it will have the new altar slash proxy. And the way that the custom folder works inside here, uh, not this one, inside here, is the custom holds priority over the downloaded picks. So whatever you put in the custom folder will have priority artwork. So that, ah, so this is basic, this is, that's about it. I've gotten to the liberty of downloading a lot of cards. Most of them are EDH staples, rotations of duels and fetches, guild gates. It's honestly all up to you. You can find stuff on the web that has really nice artwork. Or, in a, in a separate case, you can what you can do is download a picture of a card that isn't in the database yet. So, for example, on the bottom here, uh, where is it? W. This is the Waste card that just got previewed a couple days ago. So, let's go ahead and go into main. I'll create a one, like a one player. You can just load up any deck and it will still work. Like, I'll, I'll upload a random deck. When you go to control and create a token, most people don't know this, but if you put in a name, a named permanent, uh, it will make a token of it. So, Black Lotus. It'll make the named token. I don't know why it's a 3-3. That's weird. It shouldn't be. So, if we put... If we down... Because... Yeah, I downloaded the Wastes card. But because it's not in the database, it is still in the custom folder. So, you can make a token of it. And it will appear to you. Uh, this I had I had to do an, a same thing for another card, which was uh, Soul Tie. Where is it? It's uh, here. This was for the commander. It's a vanilla for tiny leaders. So if I go ahead and make a token, Soul Tie. Uh, I can't spell apparently. Like it has to be the correct spelling or it won't work. Soul Tie. I can really not spell, can I? Alright, there it is. S-U-L. There we go, got to that time. Apparently I can't spell. And apparently every time I close it, it closes it off of me. That's just sad. Come on. I must have misspelled it or something. S... Ah, that's it. Okay. I know what I did wrong. Sometimes you can put a space. Got it that time. You can put a space after cards to kind of separate them. But that's basically how proxies work on Cockertress. Uh, also, a side note. Uh, you Only you will be able to see the pictures. Your opponents will see the pictures that they have, if any, on their custom artwork. So this is only for your side. So thanks for watching. A thumbs up is appreciated. This video will be sent to the Cockatrice forums to, to be help, trying to be helpful for people. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.